hello, hello, Lionhearts. Welcome back to Prague. I know, at first you were like, are we in Paris again? Nope, we're in Prague. Different tower, kind of looks similar though. Hope you guys all are having a great day. We're about to together. Let's go. Days with Jordan the Lion begins now. By the way, I, I cannot tell you how much I miss my dog right now. I totally miss Ja. I wish he could come on some of these foreign adventures, but this is just way too cold for him. Too cold for me. And here we have a mural of Larry Fine from the Three Stooges. I'm kidding. I think it's just some random graffiti. There's my ride. Front row Joe here. Speaking of dogs, cool theme to this restaurant. All right. Where we're going to now is a walkway that's so narrow it has its own stoplight. Take a gander at this. Oh yeah, baby. Life is mystery, his life is history. Smoke them if you got them. Now we're gonna cut through this park. Another great statue here in this park. Whoa, look at this art installation. These are like the babies that were supposed to be on TV Tower that we didn't get to see. They ain't got no face. Wow, looks like somebody drew an eyeball on this one off to the side. That's. I guess that's something. Cool, but strange nonetheless. This park is just full of awesomeness. And speaking of statues and busts, I'm gonna end the vlog with a really cool rock and roll one here in Prague. Now that is interesting. There's a lot going on in that one. We're also very close to the Charles Bridge, so I'll show you guys that today too. That's a very, very famous bridge. It's another one of those bridges that everybody puts locks on. Prove their undying love. Look at that, he's holding gold keys. Here it is, we got the green light. They actually consider this a street, even though it's all stairs. They call it the most narrow street in Prague. And now you're walking through it with me. I can't even imagine how you get like a stroller through here if you had a kid. And then this is right when you get to the end. Interesting art piece. What? Wow, how do you water plants with that? Now this literally drops you off right around the corner from the Franz Kafka Museum, and I wanna show you something here as well. It's pretty cool. Now I'm not gonna go in the museum because I'm not familiar enough with his work because he was a German writer, but there's something in here I wanna show you. So check this out. This is what's interesting about this. Not only are these guys peeing, but they actually are peeing in the outline of the country of the Czech Republic and <laughs> this is crazy I know you're not gonna believe me but it's true you can actually go on an app and they pee messages into the water so you can type in something and they will pee it into the water for you and as you can tell it's a popular place for people to come and watch <laughs> it is kind of funny I mean it, it's funny it's a funny idea wonder what it's writing right now I should go in there and type in Days with Jordan the Lion begins now. Well, I think since they have some old Czech gingerbread cookies here, I'm gonna get one. I think I'm gonna do one of these real small ones. All right, another gingerbread live lost. Oh cool, another marionette store. I think I've bought my limit though. Check this out over here, you gotta love art. Gotta love this kind of stuff. Yep, that's a painting. Gotta love the free music. Okay. 
So check this out. This building has a history with Beethoven. Ludwig von Beethoven. Now this is a statue to John the Baptist. Right here in the middle of the street. I just switched lenses, let's take a closer look at him. Now we are going to a tribute to John Lennon. Now this massive wall is dedicated to the memory of John Lennon. They say that once Lennon was assassinated, people started coming and putting memorials and art up here. They would cover it over and then people would keep doing it, so eventually they just left it and it became known as the Lennon Wall. And it's a pretty popular place. If you love her, if you hate her, if you troublemaker, we love you anyway. All the peace signs. And then as you leave, it actually continues onto this wall over here as well. Now, let's go take a look at the famous Charles Bridge. More locks. <laughs> oh, look at that guy. Oh, you just never know what you'll find. Here's a bit better view of him. Switch that lens again. And then almost as soon as you leave the wall, you run into the John Lennon pub with this interesting yellow submarine. Now straight through this Christmas market is the stairs to get to the Charles Bridge. Well, as you can tell, the best kept secret in Prague, <laughs> literally probably everybody in town here, this bridge is known for all the statues that you see along. Selfie time. Looks like these pigeons found a new home. Awesome view as you cross though. Everybody's touching this, and then touching that. I'm not really focusing that much on the statues because they're so dark that you can't really see that much. I mean, as far as detail and everything. This one's great, I wish you could see it better. I think there's like 30 to 40 statues out here on this bridge. And we've come to the end of the bridge. Now that, way off in the distance, we will see another day. That is the Prague Castle. I just decided to walk back the opposite way across the bridge just so we could get a view. Wow, this is amazing. Look at all that. And then look inside. Tortured souls. And now we've come to the end of the other side. All right, gang, we're starting to lose the light, so we're gonna head off, and I'm gonna show you what I mentioned earlier in the vlog. I'm gonna show you, hopefully it's still there, somebody that I've been a long time fan of, and when I knew this was here, I said, there ain't no way I'm coming to Prague and not seeing that, so let's go.
Now we're just waiting for our train. There it is. We're almost there. It's getting really cold. Well, bad news and what a bummer way to end it. This used to be Hotel Tchaikovsky. It's no longer Hotel Tchaikovsky. And they said that they did used to have a bust of Frank Zappa. Frank Zappa performed pretty much his last tour here. He did do like a festival in Frankfurt in 92, but as far as his scheduled shows that he would do, like his projects and everything, he really just played Budapest and here, Prague in 1991. And he said when he was on stage there that um, playing these shows was the only reason he had had in three years to pick up a guitar. And he asked the people of Prague to never change, never let your unique city be changed by anyone else. So really cool. I'm going to keep looking online, see if I can find where they moved it to. The people in here said it was moved three years ago and they don't know where it was moved to, but bum, bum, mer. So one of Frank Zappa's strong connections to the city was that they made him like an official cultural attache at one point in his life. So that's why the bust was here and why he played those last shows here when he had prostate cancer and knew it was inoperable. So I stopped to get some dinner and I can't read a thing on the menu, but everything pictured looks good, so this should be interesting. So I definitely ordered too much because I have a soup coming <laughs> as well, but I just want to try some stuff. I know I can take it home with me. This one is um, like spinach and cheese, I believe, and the other one is chicken and mushroom. And there's my soup. Well, everything was excellent. The food was great. I even have something to take home. Loved the soup, loved everything I had. Great place. Yeah, total home run meal here. Well, my friends, sorry there was no Frank Zappa, but we're gonna call it a night. Thank you, Jeff Kidd and Sean Glosson for making contributions to my channel, and hope you're all enjoying Prague. A little step out of your real life. We'll see you all tomorrow. We're not done here. Have a great night, and goodbye. Mm -hmm.